How to knit the crown stitch, English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Imperial Yarn, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their Erin line in the color rain. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, slip stitch, yarn over. To begin this stitch, you must cast on in multiples of five. Row one, we're going to knit all stitches. Row two, we're going to knit all stitches. Row three, Knit all stitches. Row four, we're going to knit all stitches. Row five, we're going to begin by knitting one. Then we're going to start our repeat by yarning over three times. And then we'll finish our repeat by knitting one. So we're going to continue yarning over three times and knitting one all the way until the end of the row. Row six, we're going to begin by slipping five stitches purlwise, and we're going to let the extra yarn from the yarn overs in the previous row drop. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're just going to give a nice tug on these to kind of pull out that extra slack that's there. And we're going to slip these five stitches back to our main needle. All right, now we are going to knit these five stitches together. And we are going to keep our stitches on our needle and we're going to purl one so we'll purl one into the same five loops. We'll knit one. Purl one again. So bring the yarn to the front. Go purlwise into all stitches and purl them together. And we'll finish off with a knit one. So that should be a total of five stitches. We knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. All right, I'm going to do that again for you just so you can see real quick. We start by... Slipping the stitch purlwise, letting that release. That's two, three, four, and five. Okay, then we're gonna extend those stitches out like so, slip them back over to our main needle. Then we're going to knit into all five stitches. Bring the yarn in front, purl into all five, yarn back, knit into all five, yarn forward and knit. Purl into all, or knit, that was knit, wait. Purl, okay, sorry, I lost count. And knit, there we go. All right, and we can see our loops are starting to form now right here. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across to the end of the row. Row 7, we're going to knit all stitches. Row 8, we're going to knit all stitches. So we'll repeat rows 1 through 8 until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you knit the crown stitch. Want more new stitch today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.